Hello, welcome back to the next video in the series of free blog post videos. In this blog post video, we are going to dig a little deeper into the concept of a material review board. And generally, this is also known as MRB. And this primarily uh, is a function of supporting the production activities, field support activities, repairs, that kind of stuff, right? So we will look into that and this in this video we will look at the top level bullet points and then you can read more in the blog post link that will be underneath this video all right so let's get going so the first thing we're going to look at in that blog post would be what exactly is a material review board what is an mrb board who is part of that board and things like that all right and the next um thing we'll be looking at is the different blog posts uh, on the Stress Ebook LLC blog that are related to this particular activity. And there's links in that blog post you can click on to learn more about those other functions that are related uh, to the MRB activities. Not only functions, but also concepts and other free technical blog post topics that you can read through and learn more, okay? And then we will look at within that blog post, what are the typical MRB dispositions such as use as is, what is use as is, what is repair or rework, and what is scrap, right? I think scrap is pretty much a giveaway, but you can still learn a little bit. Then we will look at the other duties of a stress engineer as a support person for the MRB activities. And those would include MPNS support, field support, production support, AOG support, uh, the other kinds of support uh, activities that I probably didn't include in this slide would be what's called SRMRB, meaning that you have an issue with a, uh, a product or a part that is received uh, from a supplier, for example. So that's another one. So all of this stuff, um, you can learn more about this in this blog post at this link that you can find right here. And I will also include this link below this video, okay? Okay, so as I usually do, I request all of my subscribers to become a, a, a newsletter subscriber. I mean, all of my visitors to become a newsletter uh, subscriber or a blog subscriber by providing their email address and the name so that you can get a bunch of stuff for free. There's a lot of benefits to that. Uh, first of all, you'll get an ebook for free. It's a very nice ebook that has been downloaded more than 10,000 times. I probably lost count of it. It's probably a lot more than that now. But you'll get that for free. You'll also get a PDF full of the FAA regulations on structures. You'll get that for free. You'll also get a link to download all the blog post PDFs. That is also free. You will also get a couple of free lessons for both the bronze and the silver level courses, which are paid courses. Okay. So, and then you will be up to date on every time there is a new blog post published, you will be the first one to know. And also, if there are any um, specials that I offer for the courses, you will also be the first to know. All right. And if you uh, want to visit the free blog, this is the link right here. Um, stressebook.com slash blog and if you uh, want to check out the existing paid courses you can go to this page right here and I will include all of these underneath the video so you don't have to note this down and uh, if you are uh, an existing member already a paid subscriber you can go to this link here uh, and log in to access your course content and we also provide engineering services and if you're somebody who's looking to hire us to help you with aerospace stress engineering, then we can offer that. Just go to this page here. We will include this link below the video and there's a contact form there that you can use or you can go to the contact page on the website and just send us an email and we'll take it from there. Okay, so thank you so much for watching uh, and uh, I will see you in the next video.